Reflection for Sunday, October 1, 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Matthew chapter 21, verse 28 to 32. Does this parable of the two sons also speak to us? Jesus connects the parable of the two sons to the chief priests and elders of the people. Because they did not listen to John's exhortation to change their self-righteous ways. But he praised the tax collectors and prostitutes who were considered sinners at that time because they listened to and believed John's exhortation, leading them to walk away from their sinful ways. This parable of the two sons is also for us, we who listen to the word of God but often don't allow it to transform us we who are faithful in our church obligations, but we often don't practice our obligations as followers of Jesus. How quickly do we judge others because of their appearance and the clothes that they wear? How quickly do we judge them because of their faith, their relationships, and the friends that they keep? How quickly do we judge them because of their behavior and their profile on social media? We quickly judge by what we see, not minding our own shortcomings and sinfulness. By doing so, we personify the second son who said yes but did not go to the vineyard. We also stand for the chief priests and elders of the people who did not heed the call of John to renew their lives. The tax collectors and prostitutes were favored by Jesus for the simple reason that they listened to the call of John. Yes, they were sinners, but the moment they heard John's preaching, they listened, believed, and walked away from their sinfulness. Thus, they represent the first son, who initially said no but later had a change of heart and humbly went to work in the vineyard. We are being called by Jesus to humble ourselves before Him to have a change of heart, and to completely walk away from our sinfulness, just like what the first son did and the sinful tax collectors and prostitutes who listened to John. Would you respond to this call of Jesus?